With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to say whether the salivary gland is a holocrine, merocrine, apocrine or an endocrine gland. So, you know, we have three pairs of salivary glands which pour their secretion into our buccal cavity and this initiates the chemical digestion of our food in the mouth itself. So if we talk about glands, gland is like a cluster of cells, epithelial cells which are producing and secreting certain substances. Now mainly glands can be divided into two categories. On one hand we have the exocrine glands which are going to pour their secretion into a duct whereas the endocrine glands they are the ductless glands and they are involved in producing hormones so they are going to pour these hormones directly into the blood circulation but the salivary gland is not producing any hormones so it is an exocrine gland and exocrine glands are further divided into three main categories on the basis of how they are putting their secretion into the duct. So holocrine gland means that when it is pouring the secretion into the duct, the entire cell which has synthesized this secretion, the substance, it is going to disintegrate. So this is holocrine gland and such a holocrine gland would be the sebaceous glands that we are finding in our skin that secrete oil. And then merocrine glands are those in which the cell is not dis disintegrating, no part of the cell is being poured with the secretion and the cell which is involved in production of the substance, which is secreting the substance, it simply transports the secretion out of the cell body and puts it into the duct. So example of such merocrine gland will be the tear glands, goblet cells, all of these and epocrine gland, salivary gland, so option B is our correct answer over here. Then epocrine gland means that a part of the cell membrane comes with the secretion when the secretion is poured into the duct and such epocrine gland is represented by a mammary gland in our body. And endocrine gland is not relevant over here because salivary gland is not endocrine at all. Endocrine means ductless gland. So here option B is our correct answer because the cells of the salivary gland are not disintegrating by while pouring the secretions and no part of the cell membrane is coming either. So we will say it's a merocrine gland. Simply the cell transports the sweat into the duct. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEAT level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.